going to be an awful lot of background noise. I know you're not going to be able to hear me. What he's doing is this is a surface grinder, a uh, monstrous machine, and it's going to put us a little better finish on this top.
called metal protected. It's uh, protects metal from rusting. Okay, and, and if you don't protect that new surface from rusting, what's going to happen? Well, eventually it's not going to rust. Almost immediately, you'll start picking up surface rust. Right? Yeah, it's uh, well, it's cooling, so it'll take a little while. But, right. You know. Yeah, but just. But now it's got a layer of film on it, so right. it won't rust. Beautiful. Until you start using it, and wipe it all off. There you go. Just keep it oiled and all that stuff. Uh, you know, you keep it yeah. lightly oiled or whatever, not use. You should have no problem. I couldn't be happier with the way the top of this saw turned out. The, the only thing I see that really made a guess because everything else looks so good is this little zip back here, that indentation in the top of the saw. And considering the work I'm going to, I, I don't want this saw you know, with something like that on it. So what I decided to do is, first off, I made me a couple of uh, plywood strips and I made a wood strip, wood strip. I think I did that about 18 degrees or so, it just looked right. And what I did is I positioned the strip to where it was behind the smallest edge of the zip. I measured that distance and then what I did is I clamped my plywood down. So what this means is when I put this strip in place, I can run tools along here and get a, a parallel edge. I don't want this thing now, I don't want to screw it up. You know, I want this looking as good as I can. So what I did is I put blue masking tape on my wedge. And I'm going to put it in place. And then just to help hold it, I'm going to clamp this down. And what this wedge is going to be is it's going to give me a reference. Come on, clamp. It's going to give me an angle to kind of reference, I'm going to use my uh, grinder here to start with, but you know, if, if I start getting off, this blue masking tape I put on here is going to be an indicator that I'm cutting the wrong angle. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to rough this out as much as I can with my grinder, and then we're going to come back and finish it off with a file. You know, I, I know I'm not going to get it straight enough with that grinder. So let's see what happens here. Now you, you can see this has almost disappeared and I am, again, cutting into my strip. The uh, smartest thing for me to do at this point, I'm going to loosen these pads and shift this whole thing back about a sixteenth of an inch. That way working at this same angle, right, it will allow me to get a little better uh, control of what I'm doing. Now what I'm going to do I want to take my file. If I keep this file where the masking tape on the file is against this, then there's no way that I can uh, ruin that face that I have, that angle. Yeah. So at this point, what we do is we just start filing. I started working on the area where that big defect was, and uh, it, actually it, it was right here. Uh, you can still see I've got a little bit of a shiny area here. What that is, that's where metal was actually pushed out by all this. But I want you to notice that right here where this bevel we're putting on there meets with the top, uh, it's gone. So the last thing I need to do is to just keep working, and uh, like I say, I'd rather file it down and take a little longer to do rather than try to grind it down and go too far. One of the things I want to show you, I've been filing for oh, probably 10 minutes. This is not taking as long as I thought it would. But you, you notice here how, how nice and smooth 
and parallel this back edge is turning out. You know, when, when I get this thing done, I want it to look like that was machine gunned at the factory, not something I did on my own. Uh, I'm going to move my uh, blocks again and uh, continue to work. This, this is uh, cast iron files very easily, by the way. It's, it's not like you're filing on steel. So it's not as big a job as you might think. I want you to notice how nice and flat that these are going to uh, turn out. And they're also going to be parallel. You know, when we get this done, we want this looking like it was actually milled into the top, not something we fixed, uh, you know, afterwards. So I'm going to uh, bump my strips here back another 30 second of an inch and continue to file. And I'll probably go over this later. I've got to deburr all the miter slots and things like that. When they did the grinding process, it left some, some uh, tear out. You know, rough filings on the outsides. So anytime you handle these tops after they come out of a grinder, make sure you wear gloves. And I think the last thing that I'll probably do, at least for now, is I'm going to take my file and I'm going to come out here and I'm just going to lightly break that outer edge on the back side of the saw. We don't have any burrs there. And uh, I've got the hard part of this done. This top's going to look as good as gold.